Ooh. Time for the displays. And trains. What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Common Rider G O D X Ride Watch Dizer and the Deno Ride Watch. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the Ride Watch Dizer. Up top here, we have G O. We have Build. We have X A. We have Deno. Of course, Deno, AD 2007 on this side of the box. We have the Dizer, we have a Geo in the Deno armor. On the other side of the box, we have Geo again, things and stuff. On top of the box, Ride Watches, Ride Watch things. On the bottom, we have Geo, the Ride Watch Dizer. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots, this, that, thing, stuff. Warning, Sad Pac Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Ride Watch Dizer. Now, before we talk about the Ride Watch Dizer itself, we're just going to put this off to the side and we're going to talk about the included Ride Watch first. So, here is the Deno Ride Watch. And getting close here, so we can take a look at the details right up top here. We have Deno symbol 2007 there on the bottom. Of course, the sticker detailing is part of a Deno's helmet. The watch itself done in white and red. Activation button up top. Speaker there on the side. The battery compartment, as always, is behind that panel right there. You got the rails on the back. QR code, if you want to scan it, go ahead. Free scan on me. You're welcome. And, of course, it makes noises. That's right. These things make noises. So, if you push the button up top, you get... And, as always, lights up all nice and bright like. Push it again. So you got that? And of course, when we rotate the face of the watch, we get the full look there at Deno's helmet, and we can light that up. So there you have that. So without further ado, let's bring in the Jiku driver and our friend the Rider Can, because if the Rider can, you can. And of course, as always, you can use this with either Gates or Gio, but we're going to go with Gio since it's what's pictured on the box. So let's get down to it. I like that one. <laughs> so you got Deno there on the screen, 2007. So now let us do our attack. So there you have that, and as usual, just to be considerate, because I like being considerate, I'm going to turn the driver off, just to make sure you can hear everything nice and clear-like. Oh, first we have to push buttons. Explosions and things happen because it's awesome. So there you go. And lastly, we'll bring in the Jikandivator. Get in there. There you go. He really shouts at you. Emphasizes that O. 
So now on to the main event, the Ride Watch Dizer itself. And this is basically how you're going to display your gimmick this year. This is uh, on the show as well. Um, on the show, this is a nice shiny silver. Unfortunately, what you get in toy form is just unpainted gray plastic, but uh, you know. I might buy some spray paint, honestly. I might buy some silver spray paint and just spray this thing down in silver because, you know, it looks so much cooler in silver, but. Anyway, here is the Ride Watch Dizer itself. Not a whole lot to it, but we'll get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see the Geo symbol right there up top. You get the uh, watch band across the top as well. And you do get some older details. And you see these clips here. It does have a little bit of a mold detail, some arrows telling you, put it in this way. It just goes all the way around. You do have this base, which is not attached. This just sits on top of that. So you can spin this around. It's basically a lazy Susan for your ride watches. It's basically how this works. And you can fit up to seven ride watches on this. Six around the perimeter and one right up top. And this works very, very simply. You just take your ride watches and you just slide them in, like so, and they will lock into place. And that is locked into place, like that's, that's not going anywhere. That is very, very secure, so you don't have to worry about your watches just falling out. These are, these are in there nice and solidly. So you have to do, you have to use a little bit of force to, I just pushed the buttons there back accident, but you have to use a little bit of force to actually get them back out. But yeah, they do hold on there very, very securely. Now, what if you already have a bunch of ride watches and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna have to buy a lot of these and end up with, you know, the 15 Deno ride watches and I don't wanna do that. That's gonna kinda suck. Well, no, you don't have to do that because they also offer these expansions for your ride watch dizer. So that's pretty cool. So we'll just take a look at this box really quick. We got Geo, we got Gates on the top, Geo, bottom, Gates, Geo. Gates, things, stuff, warning, Pac-Man! That's it. And here is the expansion. So the difference between the expansion and the full-on set is you don't get the base at the bottom and you don't get a ride watch. All you're getting is just the, uh, the dizer section itself, the ride watching dizering parts. Yes. And this just sits right up top. And voila, you have now doubled your space there. So you can spin that, you can spin that now. And now you basically have like a secret compartment for your super rare, valuable ride watch. You can just hide it away in there. So, you know, <laughs> hey. you, can still, you can still leave one clipped on there. It's just going to be hidden, but hey, you know, hey, it's still, it's a spot to hold the ride watch if you need it, but there you go. And that's how the expansion works. So now let's load this thing up and see how it looks. And there it is, all loaded up with all of the ride watches that I've reviewed so far. It's not all the ride watches that I have, just all of the ones that I've reviewed so far. And, you know, I have, I got, I got gates up top here. There you go. And it does make for a pretty cool display there for your ride watches. That's cool. I like that. I like that. I did just order another expansion because I'm going to need it because I still have other ride watches that I haven't reviewed yet and right now they have nowhere to go because this is fully loaded up. So yeah, I just bought another expansion and uh, you know, you can pretty much go as high as you want with these it seems. I'm sure once you get to a certain point, stability will be an issue, but it seems like you can you know, go pretty high with the expansions. So there you have the Display Dizer and the Deno Ride Watch. You know, as always, uh, the Deno Ride Watch is another ride watch for your ride watching Dizer of ride watchedness. The ride watch dizer itself, I do quite like. It's just a really cool way to display your ride watches. And I do love that you can just buy the expansions without having to buy, you know, the, the full on kit and end up with a million duplicate ride watches because that would just get annoying. So I love that they give you that option of just buying an expansion. So yeah, me likes, me likes. So there you go. Now I picked this up from a CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Amiami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Kamen Rider items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Geo playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Kamen Rider GO, DX Ride Watch Dizer, and the Deno Ride Watch. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Home in your face.